Maybe you shouldn't be getting that cute tricolor Bernese Mountain Dog Puppy. So join us in today's video as we go over some of the reasons that this breed might not be the best pick for you. Welcome back to the Fenrir Bernie's Mountain Dog Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will, I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder and CEO of FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything that you could possibly ever want to know about the incredible Bernie's Mountain Dog, then how to become a high level canine leader that can raise perfect Bernie's Mountain Dog companions. So if you're a lifelong Bernie's fan or just thinking about getting your first puppy, I promise you this channel is for you. So start by hitting that subscribe button, turn on the notification, notification bell so that you never miss a future Bernie's Mountain Dog video. Now let's dive into today's video where we're going to be talking about the cons of owning a Bernie's Mountain Dog and why it might not be the breed that you're looking for. And the first reason you may want to consider another breed is that the Bernese Mountain Dog has a very short lifespan. While this is common with most large breeds, this hits home even harder with the Bernese Mountain Dog as they tend to only live for around six to eight years. The burner also has a laundry list of health issues, one of those issues being bloat, which is where the stomach turns over on itself. Now, bloat is a life-threatening and it requires emergency surgery situation. This procedure can cost anywhere in the ballpark of $1,500 all the way up to seven and a half grand. Now, while you can get specialized surgery to get the dog's stomach tacked to prevent bloat, which is a medical procedure where the dog's stomach is basically pinned to the inside of its abdomen wall, that can also cost easily $500 to $800. Now the Bernese Mountain Dog also prone to hip dysplasia. Hip dysplasia can be due to genetics, diet or not exercising appropriate caution while the dog is young and still growing. And surgery for hip dysplasia is also expensive and can be between three and a half to seven grand to correct. And that is just for one side. And if the dog is compromised on both sides, this price easily doubles. Many types of cancer can also be found within the breed. Histocytes Cytotis being the most common, and 25% of all cases of this type of cancer can be found within the Bernese Mountain Dog breed. Some genetic diseases such as Von Willebrand's disease can result in clotting issues and cause the dog to bleed excessively if it happens to be injured or even during surgery, such as simply spaying or neutering the dog. The next reason you might probably not want a Bernie's Mountain Dog is because of the expense. These dogs are not cheap, especially when you consider the incredible amount of health issues and treatments that might be coming your way later on in the dog's life due to some of the various issues that we just discussed. Now, purchasing a Bernie's Mountain Dog puppy is also not a cheap affair. A puppy of this breed tends to cost upwards of two grand per puppy from a reputable breeder and some very high quality lines can even cost as much as three to five grand or even more. Now next is that the Bernese Mountain Dog was created for work and one of these jobs was being a tried and faithful companion. This is one breed that definitely makes it into the list of Velcro dogs. It loves to be with its people and burners want to be wherever you are doing whatever you are doing. Whether it's just sitting on the couch or taking a trip to the bathroom, a Bernese Mountain Dog will never be far behind. This breed also has minimal regard for personal space and not only will it want to be trailing after you everywhere but it'll also want to be right next to you or on top of you. Now this can be something of an issue as this breed can easily weigh up to 100 pounds which is quite a big lap dog. If you are looking for a breed that will go and lay off by itself when you're busy doing something you probably shouldn't be considering a Bernese Mountain Dog. The next reason you might want to reconsider getting a dog of this breed is that they require a lot of physical and mental stimulation. This breed was developed to work, mainly pulling carts much heavier than itself. The Bernese Mountain Dog is happiest when it has a job that will wear it out physically and give it something to tire out its intelligent mind. If you do plan to get a Bernese Mountain Dog and not give it any job of any kind, you will need to make physical activity and something to keep its mind busy a top priority. If not, the Bernese Mountain Dog can become very destructive, such as chewing on things it is not supposed to, like furniture, or making a game out of rummaging through your bin or trash can. So if you are looking for a breed that is more mellow and happy just to laze around all day, you probably, again, shouldn't be considering this glorious breed. 
need. Sorry to quickly interrupt the video, guys, but I've just got to let you know that today's video is brought to you by our very own boot camp protocol. As a canine behaviorist, I've helped thousands of people be able to restructure their relationships with their dog, how to become a high level canine leader that can then address any behavior difficulties themselves to get to that point of having a perfect canine companion. So if you want my help with addressing any difficult behaviors you might be having with your dog, a link to our boot camp program is down in the description box below. So you can go check it out. There's tons of testimonials on the website. It might be exactly what you're looking for, but we'll get straight back to the video you were just watching. And our last reason you should not be getting a Bernese Mountain Dog is that they have a lot of hair. They have long hair and a thick woolly undercoat. Even with brushing the Bernese Mountain Dog, they still shed. So you can expect to have to keep the lint roller handy all the time as well as having to sweep your floors daily to keep the amount of fur just to a manageable level. They do also blow their coats twice a year, which is when their undercoat really sheds. This means as the seasons change, you expect to have even more fur around than usual, which usually is quite a lot. Now, I know that was a little bit negative, guys, but don't worry, on one of our next videos, we're going to be doing five reasons why you absolutely should consider getting one of these incredible breeds. So if you did find that video at least a little bit useful, make sure you hit that like button. If you think we forgot anything, get involved down in the comment section below. And remember, we've got two new videos coming to this channel dedicated to the amazing Bernese Mountain Dog every single week. So don't forget to subscribe so that I can chat to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Bernese Mountain Dog Show.